chamber of the heart. Right atrium. Left atrium. Right ventricle. Left ventricle. Aorta. Pulmonary artery. Bicuspid or mitral valve. Tricuspid valve. Blood enters the heart through two large veins. The inferior and superior vena cavae, returning oxygen poor blood from the body into the right atrium of the heart. At the same time, oxygen rich blood from the lungs enters the left atrium through the pulmonary veins. Then the right and left atria contract and cause the opening of atrioventricular valves, or the tricuspid and bicuspid valves, and blood flows rapidly toward the respective ventricles. The aortic valve and the pulmonary valve remain closed at this point. Then internal pressure of the ventricles increases, causing the atrioventricular valves to close. This prevents the backward movement of the blood from the ventricles to the atria. With continued contraction, the pressure in the ventricles increases rapidly, forcing the semilunar valves, aortic valve, and pulmonary valve to open and the blood flows from the ventricles to the aorta and the pulmonary artery. The release of blood from the ventricles causes them to relax. During ventricular relaxation, the blood in the aorta and the pulmonary artery move back toward the semilunar valves, causing them to close. The closing of semilunar valves reduces the pressure in ventricles. On the other hand, the internal pressure of the atria increases simultaneously, indicating the beginning of entering blood again into the atria.